Let's keep moving down the causes of inadequate LV preload. Let's look at embolism as the cause. This is defined as obstructed pulmonary artery or arteries, where an embolism would travel to the pulmonary artery and obstruct blood flow, causing RV failure and also causing underfilling of that left ventricle. The things that could travel to the pulmonary arteries and obstruct blood flow are clot, which would be a pulmonary embolism, air, cement, or an amniotic fluid embolism. Clinical signs you may see outside of echo are hypoxemia, a significant drop in end tidal CO2, or you may see a DVT present with leg discoloration. Some of the treatment options available are anticoagulation, thrombolytics, and catheter versus surgical embolectomy. When considering a pulmonary embolism as the cause of the patient's shock, you want to look at a few views, the metasophageal four-chamber view and the metasophageal ascending aortic short axis view. You may see a clot or material in this main PA or right PA. You can see that in this image here. When looking at the RV, you'll see a dilated failing RV, and you may even see this McConnell sign where you have apical sparing but free wall akinesis. The LV will be underfilled because the RV failure will fail to send blood over to the left side to adequately fill that LV. You'll also want to perform a search for clot. If you don't see it in the pulmonary arteries and you do have high clinical suspicion for it, you want to look in the right ventricle, the right atrium, and even down in the IVC to see if there's any source of thrombus that could have caused a pulmonary embolism. Looking in the common femoral veins for DVT is another important clinical skill to have that can be very easily performed.